if you want to learn how to solve variation problem of variation that is joint variation then stick with me in this channel in this lesson i will be showing you how to solve problems on joint variation my name is justice johnson and this channel is math fusion this channel is where we make maths easy for you to learn if you are new to this channel i would like to cons i would like to plead with you to consider subscribing and watching our, our other videos um click the bell icon and so that we notify when i upload um videos we upload videos every 10 pm of tuesdays of every week and uh, also like and comment on our videos now let us dive into the lesson at hand here the question says m varies directly as n and inversely as the square of p if m is 3 and n is 2 and p is 1 find m in terms of n and p this is a wasay 2022 question and the question is in number nine now how do we approach this problem first yes is m varies directly as n how do we write that we we'll write it as m varies directly as n and inversely as the square of p so since it's inversely you come under n draw a line put your p and it's put your square there because it varies inversely as the square of p now the next thing we do before we go on is to write this as an equation by saying m equals to k then your n upon p squared this is what you must do okay then at this point you show the relationship between m n and p squared now we need to get the value for k which is why they gave us m as 3 you come here you put the m as 3 equals to k multiplied by the values of n which in this case you can see here is what 2 we put the 2 here then divide by the value of p which is 1 and p carries a square so we say 1 squared this will eventually give us 3 equals 2 times k we give us 2k 1 square means 1 times 1 which will end up being 1 so in this case now we need to make k the subject out by cross multiplying so 1 times 3 will give us 3 then 2 times 1 will give us 2 and that is the value for k now we bring this value for k and plug it into what we have here so in doing so therefore we can say that m equals to equals to what k what is k k is 3 upon 2 multiply by what by n upon m square so we have n upon p squared in multiplying this we shall have m equals to 3 times n is 3n upon 2 times p squared will give us 2p squared and this is going to be the final answer to this question and that is what the question says um, here that we should make m in terms find m in terms of n and p and this is the answer i hope you enjoyed this lesson i will see you in my next lesson